And we are joined by Connor Foley, the Times Tribune beat writer for the Yankees AAA affiliate, the Scranton Wilkes-Barre Rail Riders. Welcome, Connor. We are going to dig right in with the story of Miguel Andujar. He's a big story, and you have seen him work at multiple positions. What are your impressions as he's working his way back to the big club? And so far, he's been pretty good, um, as you know, how we've seen Andujar look in the past. Uh, in the games of the minor league season so far, he's been playing left field, which is fairly new to him. He made a really nice running play there one game. And then uh, the next game, he was sort of a little too aggressive on one dive and the ball got behind him. But I'm guessing that you'd probably want guys who are learning the position to be a little more aggressive uh, than too tentative right now. So, you know, overall in the field, he's looked pretty good uh, at the plate. No surprise there. He went, he had four hits in his last game with the Rail Riders, including a home run off former Yankees farmhand Stephen Tarpley. And then the other home run was against a position player because the Rail Riders scored a lot of runs in that game. Uh, but also in that game, he had a couple uh, line drive singles, which is good from uh, Miggy. And, you know, the helicopter swing was in full effect too. So. Very good. Before we go further, we have to circle back a little bit to last year and some of your memories. Now, you were not allowed in the stadium, but th where there's a will, there is a way. And we're going to call it All Tree Access. And we've got video. Tell us about it. Yeah, so there's the the stadium in Scranton sort of sits at the base of a mountain um, or a I mean, it's it's a mountain, but it's a hill. Uh, and uh, at the top of the hill is a movie theater and some hotels. And so there's a long parking lot that sort of overlooks the stadium. And so I was able to find a couple spots uh, in the movie theater parking lot to look into the stadium. Um, you know, if I was trying to look at hitters one day, that was one spot. If I was looking more for pitchers the other day, that was another spot. Um, and, you know, just did what I could. Um, now that I'm back in the stadium, I look up at the hill and I kind of think, you know, what was I doing? That, uh, <laughs> it's a very far away. Um, but, you know, whatever, whatever, there was nothing else to do. So <laughs> you, don't need the bug done. you don't need the bug spray anymore? You're all good? I, I do not need the bug spray anymore. <laughs> okay. And that, that's, that's taste stayed in my mouth for a long time. And <laughs> I will never do that again. <laughs> very, very nice. Okay, good thoughts. Okay. What about the alternate site this year? Very different. You were allowed in the stadium and some real opposition, too. Yeah, I think that was big for the players was that this year uh, they played, they scheduled 18 games against the Phillies alternate site team in Allentown, which is like an hour 20 drive uh, from Scranton. And a couple of those games got rained out, but I think that that was really key for the players uh, to sort of see other pitchers than their own teammates. They were able to actually play their positions in games. A lot of times during the offset last year, it would be like the, out, the outfielders would hit one inning and the infielders would play and then the infielders would hit and the outfielders would play. So they're, they weren't really structured like games last year. This year they are able to do that. And um, the Yankees outside team actually did pretty good. I think we think they lost only two or three games out of the ones that were played. Uh, so from a result standpoint, I don't think they can do much better than that. But really, how good is it to have the real minor league season back? It started this week. Yeah, I mean, so far, so good. Uh, the Rail Riders started the season in Syracuse, uh, and they actually opened up a, a new ish stadium they did a lot of renovations up there and so i think a lot of people in syracuse were excited to see uh what the mets had done to that stadium um i think the players were very excited to actually get to play in games that count uh and to get out of their hotel rooms um, that they've been in for the better part of a month here and you're watching really the testing of some new rules yeah, so each since when minor when Major League Baseball took over the minor leagues uh, in the off season, they gave each level a rule to test to see if you know how they can maybe improve the game at the major league level. The AAA level got uh, larger bases, so the bases are three square inches bigger than the old ones. Um, I had one player tell me that uh, Derek Dietrich picked up the base when they first saw it and asked if anybody had ordered a large pizza uh, <laughs> because that's kind of what they look like. They're, they do look a lot bigger. And 
we've actually seen, and I don't know if it's just because of the personnel that's on this Rail Riders team, but we've seen a lot more uh, attempted base stealing this year, which is one of the goals that Major League Baseball is hoping for because the distance between first and second is a little bit shorter, and that's what they're hoping to see some more action in the games. I have to ask you about Luke Voigt. You've seen him a lot. He is working his way back, eyeing perhaps a return on Tuesday. He's had a chance to test that knee. How does he look? Yeah, I mean, he was ready to go from the first pitch he saw. He hit it off the wall in Syracuse for a double. Uh, and then I believe it was his next at bat. He was, he was able to really test out the knee. He had to beat out an infield single. Um, and so, I mean, that's pretty good. Uh, so far, I think he's got four hits on the assignment with a double, a home run, and a couple walks and a couple strikeouts. In the field, you know, he's, he's looked about as expected. Uh, he hasn't played a full game out there yet. I believe Aaron Boone told the New York media today that he's going to play seven innings uh, in, in his rehab game today at first base. And then tomorrow, he'll play a full game at DH. And then the Rail Riders are off Monday, so we'll see what happens after that. Before we let you go, who has opened your eyes down there? One person for me that's opened my eyes is Chris Gittens. Uh, he's, you know, got power that they talk about uh, in sort of the Aaron Judge, John Carlos Stanton stratosphere. Um, he's reached base in eight of his last nine plate appearances. He hit his first triple A home run last night. And the big bugaboo against Chris in his career has been that he strikes out a little too much. And so far, he's only struck out once in 16 plate appearances. So pretty good so far uh, for Chris. Connor, thank you so, so much. Great having you on today. Our Triple A pipeline. Enjoy every game.